Oh, it was a corker. 8 0, mate. 8 0, Bobby Robson, Sheffield Wednesday. What a day. That was honestly my first. I think I probably went when I was younger, like dead young, but yeah, I cannot remember that. The, the best memory I've got is of that first game, is of the Bob Robson era starting 8 0. Shearer scored 5. Unbelievable. Downhill since. Oh, favourite Newcastle goal. I'm going to go for Shearer's 206 against Portsmouth. It might not have been the prettiest goal. Sure, has a little flick, Shearer's finish, but the goosebumps on the back of my neck after that moment was unreal. And like when I think of a goal, that's what comes to mind. Growing up, it had to be... I don't want to say Shearer, it's too obvious, so I'd go with uh, Lon Robert. I used to love Lon Robert, man, that left foot. Something else. Can you remember when we were in the UEFA Cup and we had the black and blue one? Blue on the sleeves, black down the middle here, white Northern Rock. Adidas badges there, two badges in the middle. That, that was the one, I think it was 2006, 2007, third kit. Blue and black, Albert Luque, Palermo, that's what I'm talking about, like that kit mate, something else. I'd have to go by Robson, I'd have to go by Robson because Keegan was unreal, but I didn't get to see much of Keegan when I was growing up with Bobby Robson, Champions League nights, way to way, when he took over the club to where he got to, the signings he made, everything, how much he was loved up here, how much he connected with the club in the city, so Bobby Robson. Andy Carroll, when he left the first time, not the second time, you know what I mean, but the first time when he left, I remember deadline day, watching it, and that came up, Andy Carroll, 35 million Liverpool. I was sitting there thinking, oh, well, surely you've got someone lined up. We must be getting someone else through. Obviously not, mate, actually. Didn't get anyone else through. So to lose Arnie Carroll on deadline day, when we were only just getting a glimpse of how good he was in the Premier League. Now, I thought he was going to be the next year. I thought he was going to be here forever, banging them in. England's number nine. Injuries didn't help, but when we lost him, I was devastated. Um... The worst one is when we went down the first time, Aston Villa. That's the one and only time I've cried as a Newcastle fan. I remember watching that game and I was actually in tears, crying, because I was just like, there's no way we can end up in the championship. There's no way we can be in the championship. That squad we had at the time to end up there. And then, um, was it the quarters or semis of the UEFA Cup when we got knocked out? The Benfica won, but then they won in a Bobby Robson as well. I think Kieran Dyer missed a sitter. Um, those times. The 5-1 five, the five against Sunderland, Halloween, been out all day, absolutely mortal for the game, straight back out afterwards. That's why I want Sunderland to come back up, because I want Derby Days back. Like That Derby Day feeling, when we hammered them like at the Nolan Hatrick, I'm Yobi. Quality times. Hmm, I don't want to be born and say St. Maximum. I mean, there's not many other choices but St. Maximum, but... Um... <laughs> Who can I go for that's a bit different than St. Maximum? Current favourite player? Um, Joe Linton. Just for the video call that me and him had. Good times. <laughs> I'm big enough, Joe. Eddie Howe's going to get the best out of him, mate. Right? J7. <laughs>